What's this? Not going to work today. Get lost, Zoe. Ah! I see you've come round to the idea then. What? Well, I suppose it was too much to expect you to believe me straight away. I needed a few days to mull it over before you could accept the truth. The only thing I've accepted is that you do or say anything to bring my relationship with charity to an end. <laughs> Including pretending to have an affair with her. I do not go around making things up. What I told you was true. Well, you've got what you wanted anyway. How do you mean? It's over between us. Charity's finished it. So you've spoken to her then? Yep. She's staying at the bed and breakfast. So, mission accomplished, sis. Look, I know all this has hurt you, but doesn't her telling you it's over prove something to you? The only thing any of this proves is that it's also over between you and me. Oh, really? Then why haven't you packed your bags? I'm staying here for Joseph's sake, that's all. I'm not having your game playing threatening stability. I see. So does that mean we carry on living together, but we won't be speaking? Fine. Play it however you like. Right then. I'll see you later. Yeah. If you're not in at lunchtime, I'll nip across to the shop during the afternoon. Guess something I'd like to talk to you about. Morning. Carlos. Listen, I was wondering, uh, well, what about a drink later on, eh? Maybe after the lunch shift? You've messed around with me enough, Carlos. If you think I'm going to give you another chance to do my head in, you're very much mistaken. Come on, Emily. Nick, I'm sorry. Oh, keep away from me! Ah, it's from me and my dad. Having a great time, by all accounts. Thank goodness for that. Mind you, having a great time probably means we've done everything except try and kill each other. Uh, well, things will never be back the way they were, Ollie, no matter how hard they try. They're never going to forget what went on completely. Did you ever cheat on me, Nan? Me? Nay, nah, lass. <laughs> Is that because you didn't have the chance? I had the chance, all right. But why would I hurt the one that meant the most to me, hmm? Yeah, I suppose. Well, I'm just glad they're getting on again anyway. Aye. So, was there anything else in the post? Hmm? Were we expecting anything else? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes, there was something. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I can't open it. Come on, lass, you know you've done well. Oh. Come on. But, like, my GCSE results, my heart is absolutely thumping. Come on, hurry up. <sighs> I knew yes! you'd pass it flying yes! colours! <laughs> you clever little something! Oh, really? Let's have a look, let's have a look. A, A, B, 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 B. Oh, man. Yes! Yeah. Seven letters, third one a D, obsessed with the female, some might hear, crazy for you. Madonna, how do you make that out? Mad on her. Obsessed. Oh, yeah. You can be dead clever sometimes, Bernice. Mum, you haven't forgotten that I'm going to the hospital this afternoon, have you? Oh, sweetheart, of course you are. It's just for a chat with the midwife, you know, to make sure that everything's... Well, you take all the time you need, we'll manage. Thanks. There you are. I'll be looking all over for you. We're pushing it, we're going to make that meeting by half ten. Chris? You're right. You don't tell anyone you've seen this. W what's been going on? It's over. Charity meet. Oh, I'm sorry. I know how much you meant to you. So not only has Zoe become my enemy, but 
the best relationship I've ever had has been destroyed. Maybe charity will come back in time. I don't know what to say. Bit of a mess, isn't it? I say anything. Don't ever turn against me, Terry. You're the only one I can trust. Of course I won't. Go on, just go. I just want to stay out here. What about the meeting? Cancel it. Just cancel everything for today. Just tell them I'm ill. Right. I'll uh, get on to it right away. Uh, phone me if you need help. I don't want to seem as if I'm constantly checking up on you, but you seem a bit tense. Well, can you blame me having to work alongside me ex? Is he bothering you? Oh, I don't know what he's up to. Asked me to have a drink with him earlier, as if. Well, whatever you're feeling, I think you might benefit from some time away, give you a bit of distance between you and Carlos. Take a holiday, you mean? On your own? Well, you haven't got to go on your own. You could ask Emily to go with you. I don't think she's got any money at the minute. I know. You could go and see your mum. You haven't been over there for ages. Well, that's a good idea. Give her my love while you're there. You know what she'll tell you to do with it. Yeah, you think about it. Cos I think Ollady might do you good. Ah, might even get a last-minute deal. <laughs> yeah, Miss Morning. Well, there's not much hope for his spelling, but... <sighs> Let's just pray they can sort their marriage out for the children's sake. Well, I'm hopeful, but it's best not to expect too much. Oof. There's a lot to forgive and forget. <laughs> I dare say you'll be glad to have them back on English soil again. Mark and Ollie must have been a right handful. There'd be no trouble. Actually, we get on very well. Oh, well, that's nice to hear. <laughs> Keep it under your hat. But Evelyn, my granddaughter's coming to stay with me soon. Yeah, I didn't know you had a granddaughter. Oh, yeah. She lives in France with her father and his new wife. Oh, he's separated from Evelyn's mother, is he? She died some time ago. Oh. Evelyn's starting school here in September, you see. Well, you don't want them educating over there, do you? Not if they want to know what's what. <laughs> no. Well, I look forward to meeting her. <laughs> She's a bonny thing. Is it your son's idea of coming over here to live? He didn't object. Oh, right. Ready? As I'll ever be. See you later, love. Where are they off to? Just popping into Leeds for a shop, I think. All right. How's it get dusty so quick? No idea. Is there any more coffee going? Oh, I'll be with you in a minute. Hello. What do you want? I thought it would be nice to see you. Yeah, well, I'm not interested, so can you just go, please? No. Not until we've sorted something out. <sighs> If I'd wanted to see it, I'd have told you where I was. So seeing as though I haven't, will you just get the message and get lost? Listen, we need to sort things out. Work out what we're going to do. What we're going to do? I suggest we go and sort things out in the other room. But we've already done in there. But nevertheless. What makes you think I'd want any sort of future with you? But the hard part's over. We haven't got anything to hide anymore. Who do you think you are, Zoe? Just assuming that I want to be with you after what's gone on. All oh, that's gone on is that Chris finally knows about us. You didn't even discuss it with me. You just went ahead and announced it to a packed restaurant. It, no, I just felt it was time that we told him. There is no we, Zoe. You don't work as part of a team and I don't want anything more to do with your sick games. I'm not playing games. Charity, I love you. I've been... 
desperate for everything to come out into the open, and I didn't talk to you because I knew you'd be scared. But I genuinely believe that you'd be behind me. I don't want to hear this. However you try to justify it, all you've done is destroy Chris and show me your true colours. I know we can be happy. And I know that I'm not interested! It's over, Zoe, so just do one, will you? Go and wreck somebody else's life! Hi, Scott. Table for one? No, Tom. Just uh, waiting for Chloe. Ah, oh, she'll be through in a minute. She's, uh, <laughs> she's helping Marlon with something. <laughs> We're all happy in our work here. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, uh, just getting a bit carried away. Or rather, Marlon is. Yeah, we've got a barbecue on Monday, you see, and he's got some rather ambitious, not to say outlandish, plans for it. You see? I trust we can count on your presence, Scott, seeing as your better half is going to be one of the main attractions. I'm not sure I follow you. Ah, if ever there was a woman born to wear a hula outfit. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's all sounded a bit campy, if you ask me. There's more to a barbecue than serving bangers. This is one event that's going to be pleasing to the eye as well as to the mouth. Really? Planning on sporting a tempting pair of trunks then, are you? I might be. Hi, <laughs> oh, oh, sweetheart. Hi. <sighs> you never have any magazines in that one. You want to tell that bib to get up to date with what's what? If anyone's got their finger on the pulse of the zeitgeist, it's Mrs Hope. The what geist? The current trends. You are joking. Have you seen the clothes she's wearing? She is a monument to the 1980s. Yes, I know. We're currently in the middle of an 80s revival, fashion-wise. It's called postmodernism. Right. Whatever. Just tell us to consult Donna next time she's ordering magazines. And, uh, you want to watch you don't choke on your lexicon. What's wrong with her? Nothing. Quite the opposite. Just past all the GCSEs. I just don't think she was counting on me, having listened to Nicholas so much. Right. Well, I just came to see if I could take you out for the afternoon. I've got it off, you see. We could go somewhere nice and quiet. Oh, it's a nice idea, Ed, but... Well, I've got to mind the shop. Mrs Hope's gone to Arrogate. Shopping for leg warmers. For what? Nothing. It's just a private joke. Well, I'll tell you what. How about I stay and help you? We've got nothing else to do. You don't have to. I want to, though. There's four packs of bean tins in the stock cupboard, 29 pence each. <laughs> um, same again, please. Not like you to be knocking them back. You got a problem with that? No, it's Why just... don't you keep your thoughts to yourself? Hey, Marlon, over here. Oh, uh, do you want another drink? It's all right, you sit down, I'll get them. All right, cheers. So, your barbecue plan's finalised, then? Yeah, we're almost there, I think, yeah. Good. So, whose idea was it to have the girls dressed in hula outfits? Listen, mate, I'm just in charge of the food. Yeah. Theme I know to do with me. Hi, you two. Buy anything nice? We, we, we just window shopped in the end. Oh, how boring. Well, everything OK. No problem so far. But get this, the midwife thinks I'm three months pregnant. Blimey! You only did the test a week ago. I know. I had no idea I was so far gone. Isn't it wonderful? We've got a scan booked to the hospital tomorrow. Everything will be fine, sweetheart. Well, that's what I keep telling myself. It doesn't stop you feeling nervous, does it? I think it's understandable. We're a little bit frightened. Well, there's no point in worrying unnecessarily. Things will be different this time, you'll see. Right, well, I'll give you a hand, then. Well, there's no need if you'd rather have a rest. No, I'll be happier working. Do us a favour, then. Watch what you say to Zoe. She needs a bit me head off just now. She's a bit tanked up. I'll keep her in line, don't you worry. <laughs> Is everything all right, Zoe? Yeah, fine, thanks. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, call me sometime. Goodbye sometime. I think we're about due for a break. I'll go make us some tea and biscuits. Oh, I can go if you like. £2.90? Hey? Your decimal 
Oh, it must be in the wrong place. Look, it should be one space to the left. I'm sure it was in the right position a minute ago. Well, it can't have slipped across in its own accord. They're hard to peel off, too. Well, there's only one thing for it. They'll have to come off. Yeah, I'll do it. <coughs> oh, sorry, Paddy, we were just... No, I, 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 I really don't think you should tell me. Hard to peel off with it. And, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't have thought there's enough room in that stock covers. It's not funny, Paddy. Sorry. I was pricing up beans. I had my gun in the wrong position. <laughs> Easily done, I would imagine. I was only trying to help. I know. Sorry. Well, I'm glad to see that you've not got rid of it. Why would I want to get rid of it? No, I mean, sold it, stupid. Oh, right. Yeah, the market's a bit slow at the minute. Oh, well, I've arrived just on time, then. How do you mean? Oh, never mind the market being slow. You're up to speed yourself today. Look at the keys, will you? I've decided not to sell. But... But what? Uh, but it's not roadworthy at the minute. Well, it was when I brought it over, wasn't it? Well, I thought so. Uh, but after a quick inspection, I, uh, decided otherwise. I'm still waiting for a few small but very important parts to be delivered. Oh, right. Well... What's wrong with it, then? Uh, brakes. Oh, I see. Well, give us a shout when it's ready, then, eh? The sooner the better, Scotty boy, eh? Yeah. Hiya. Hiya. Good day. Not sure. You said you had something to tell me earlier. Yeah. Um, um, could you close the shop for a few minutes? Oh, well... Yes, I suppose. It's just that... Hiya. Carlos, what can I get you? I, I've just come to get a couple of things. Nicola, I really don't want us to be awkward with each other. Can't we talk? Find a way to make things bearable. I've told you, haven't I? I don't want you hassling me. No, well, believe you me, I don't want to hassle you, but I think it's only fair you let me say a few things. There's nothing I want to hear. I prefer to do it in private, but if you're not going to give me that option, I'm quite happy to do it in public. You can go through there. Thank you, Emily. So, come on, then. I've not got long. I just wanted to apologise. That's why I asked you for a drink this morning. I, I never wanted things to turn out this way. The last thing I ever planned was to hurt you, but I accept that I have. And I also admit that it's all my fault. You have every right to be angry with me. Is that it? Well, yeah. Other than to say that I hope one day we could be friends and... <gasps> well, maybe you'll forgive me. Would you please stop being so nice about it? It's over! You made that clear! I mean, why would I ever want you as a friend at any time in the future? Nicola, I don't want to upset Don't you. get off me! What have I done? Just go! Please, just leave! I don't know what I've done. You've done plenty. You heard what Nicholas said, and now I'm asking you to leave. Yeah, that's it for long. This car is a complete disaster. It needs a new engine. Are you sure? It's going to cost more than the damn car's worth. Well, you will go risk the boats, in it? And Charity came round earlier. She says she's changed her mind about selling a car. She wants to keep it. Hang on. What about a sports car? She sold it when she split up with Chris. Well, you'll have to get it replaced. It's going to completely wipe me out. Shall I put a kettle on, then? yourself together, Nicola. We can't go on like this. I know, I do know. You've had terrible luck with men. <coughs> I can see that. All any of them ever seem to do is leave you in a state. It's not right. It must be me. There's something wrong with me. You can't tell me otherwise. That's not true. I, j I just wish you wouldn't let Carlos get to you so easily. I thought you were really starting to get over him. You, you talked like you were. 
I've tried to. I've really tried. I really believed it never made me feel that way. And I know I'm never going to find anyone as nice as him again, so what does that say? It says I'm going to be better off spending the rest of my life on my own or selling for second best. Not necessarily. Hey, remember <laughs> everything I've told you about Butch, about time healing and surprising you, even? Oh, but it's just words, Emily. It's different with you. Well, maybe it is, but I, I don't see why. Look. Things aren't seeming so good just now. But you, you've got to move on, Nicola. You, you've you got to try at least. I know. You're right. And I know that I must come across as stupid and childish. The idiot that never learns. But I had learned some lessons, Emily, honest I had. Before I got together with Carlos, I promised myself that I'd never fall apart because of a man again. Well, then... And I would have been all right about all of this. Except... What's wrong, Nicola? You can tell me anything and I, I promise I won't judge you. I think I might be pregnant, Emily. So, you see... I would have been all right. 